Hey everyone, Savo here and in this video we are going to use the Unity Animator Controller for smooth transitions between animations and learn how to code them. Let's jump into it. Here you can see a simple background based on a sky theme and a game character which has a couple of animations. For this tutorial I prepared an idle animation, a running animation and a jumping animation. If you want to learn more about animating a character, check the link in the description where I explain everything in another video. Now back to our character and let's open up the animator window. As you can see, the animations I mentioned before are inside of the animator, with the idle one being the default. Now what we have to do is to set the parameters and connect each state with the right transitions. As for the parameters, set a running and a jumping bool which will indicate if our game character is running or jumping. When connecting the animation states, think of it as the basic animation pyramid, where the animations are placed exactly as you can see here, connected with each other. So with that said, let's start connecting them. First, make two transitions, from the idle to the running animation and from the running to the idle. For the first one, set the condition running to true. Disable the has exit time and set the transition duration to zero, as we want an immediate change from idle to running. For the second one, set the condition running to false. No exit time, and for a smooth transition, set the duration to 0 0.2. Next, connect the idle with a jumping animation. Set the condition jumping to true, disable exit time, and set transition duration to zero. Now, when connecting from jumping back to idle, it's a very crucial part to keep in mind. We are going to need two conditions, the first one being jumping false and the second one being running false. This happens because after a jump, our character may want to continue running and don't just stop there. Disable has exit time and for the transition duration set 0.4. Let's continue connecting running and jumping. Here we are going to need just one condition, jumping true. Disable exit time and transition duration 0 for an immediate jump. Lastly, let's go back from jumping to running. Here again we will need two conditions, the one running true and the second jumping false. Disable again the exit time and set the transition duration to 0 0.4 for a very smooth landing. And that's it, as I call it, the basic animation pyramid. Very easy transitions, with the only significant point being the jumping animation, where we have to check if we are running or idling directly after the landing. Now the final step is to actually code the animator inside of a script. Go to your scripts folder and create a new one. For simplicity, I will just name it character anim controller. With the script open and since we are using a joystick controller in order to move our game character, we need to include the Unity standard assets cross-platform input package in our script. Let's set our variables. We will need a public float speed, a public float jump power, the private rigid body 2D and the private animator of our character. In the start function, the first thing to do is to assign the rigid body and the animator to our variables. In my case, I need to get the rigid body 2D from the parent game object. This is because I always like to have the rigid body on the top parent from my character. We will also need another float, let's name it move horizontal, where we're going to store the cross platform input manager horizontal axis. More about that on my previous video about mobile joysticks. Link in the description. Now let's create the fixed update function where all physics will be handled. First thing we are going to need is an if else statement where we are going to check if our joystick is on the right side, on the left side or not moving at all. If it's not moving, we simply have to set the running condition from inside the animator to false. To do this, we will use the function anim set bool with the running condition and the boolean as inputs. In case we are moving to the right, we have to set the running condition to true. Set the local scale of our character to 111, which means 
it's looking to the right and give the right velocity to our rigid body. For this, create a new vector 2 with the x value being the horizontal movement times the speed and the y value the rigid body velocity y, which means it won't be affected at all. At last, we're going to check if we are moving to the left. If so, the only thing that has to change is the local scale, where we set the x value to minus 1. Let's see if so far everything is working fine. In Unity, assign the new script to our game character and set the speed and jump power as you like. I am using speed 5 and jump power 15. Very nice! Our character is moving, changing directions and the animation is playing just right. Looks like it's time to make our character jump. Open up the script again and write a public void jump function. Here we are going to set the jumping condition to true and this time adding to the rigid body velocity the y value based on the jump power. Back in Unity for testing. Assign the new jump function we just created to the jump button and click play. Well, our character is jumping but stays forever in the jumping condition. The solution to this problem is also the most important key when creating a platformer and a lot of jumping is involved. For this to happen, we are going to need a new set of variables. An on-ground boolean, which would indicate if we are on any platform. Now in the update function, we are going to set a value to the on-ground boolean with the physics 2D overlap cycle function. The first input is a game object which should be near the ground, below our game character. More about that in a moment. The second input is a ground check radius which we are going to set to 0.1 and the third input is a ground layer mask. The final step here is to check with an if else statement if we are on the ground or not. If yes, we simply set the jumping condition to false and otherwise to true. Now in Unity we are going to create an empty game object directly at this point where our game character is touching the ground. Assign the my ground layer mask and don't forget to use the exactly same layer for all of your platforms. Let's test it again. The movement and the animations finally look really smooth. But because I can only use the joystick or the jump button at a time, I am going to create another input method to see a smooth transition from the running to the jumping animation. So in the script and in the update function, we are going to use an if statement where we check if we are on the ground and the key is pressed, for example the space key. If this happens, we again assign the velocity to our rigid body so as our character is going to jump. This time we finally did it. The basic animation pyramid worked perfect. You can always play with the speed and jump power values according to the needs of your game. Hope you enjoyed the video and learned how to use the animator for perfect transitions between animations. Consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons, it would really be appreciated. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao!